السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو بیولوجی کلاس دس از می مس صوفیہ یعقوب فرام اے پی ایس بوائز سیال کوٹ اینڈ اٹ از منڈے ٹوینٹی ایٹ اپریل ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی لیٹس فائنڈ آؤٹ آر ٹاپک ٹوڈے واٹ از دا بیسک آنسر از بریک اینڈ واٹ از دا بیسک یونٹ آف لیونگ آرگنزم دا آنسر از سیل ایز بلڈنگس آر میڈ اپ آف بریکس دا لیونگ آرگنزمس آر میڈ اپ آف سیل How many cells make up a body of a living organism? One, two, or many? This is what we are going to study today. It's our topic, cellular organization. Our objectives are students will be able to recognize different cellular organization, unicellular, colonial, and multicellular. Before starting, you need to know what is cell. Cell is the structural and functional unit of life. So what do you think? If a cell is a basic unit, then can it survive alone? First type is unicellular organization. So what is in the picture? This is a bacteria. So how many cells bacteria is made up of? Answer is just one, as you can see in the picture. And these type of organisms are called unicellular organisms. Uni means one and cellular means cell. Those organisms which are made up of one cell only are called unicellular organisms and all the life processes are being carried out by one cell only. Second type is colonial organization. So what is this? This is a unicellular organism. And what they are? They are many unicellular organisms. Sometimes many unicellular organisms are living together to make a colony and this is called colonial organization. Those organisms which are made up of one cell but they live together in the form of colony are called colonial organisms. They live together but they perform their activities individually and there is no division of labor. Example is wall walks. I got a question for you. Can we see unicellular organism with the naked eye? Just Third type is multicellular organization. So what is in the picture? They are animals and plants. So what do you think? Are they made up of one cell only? Answer is no. Higher organisms are made up of many cells and they are called multicellular organisms. Multi means many and cellular means cells. Those organisms which are made up of many cells are called multicellular organisms. They have division of labor. That is, cell, cells make tissues, tissues make organ and organ system, and all of them are working in coordination. Wait, don't you think bacterial cell and animal cells are different? Let's have a close-up. So what did you observe? Are they changed? Yes, because they are two different types of cells. Those cells which do not have nucleus are called prokaryotic cells. Pro mean before and carry a nucleus, for example, bacteria. And those cells which have nucleus are called eukaryotic cells. You mean true and carry a nucleus, for example, animal cell. There is an activity for you. Recognize the type of cellular organization from the following organisms. Take your time. Let's have a recap. Unicellular organisms are made up of one cell. Colonial organisms are unicellular but they live together in the form of colonies. And multicellular organisms are made up of many cells. Here is your assignment question. Is there any division of labor among the cells of colony? Now, if you find Division of labor among the cells and tissues. What level of cellular organization in it? You can find the answer of these questions in the slides. So watch it carefully. Take care.